At long last, the mighty Skull Crusher. You will be my dragon now. Ouch! I just wanted to take a moment of your time and look at the new How to Train Your Dragon 2 Skull Crusher. This dragon has been in high demand all summer. Everyone has been eagerly awaiting him and finally he's appearing on store shelves. Going backwards, here is Skull Crusher in his package as he would appear on store shelves. He is in the How to Train Your Dragon 2 packages because that's where he first appears. This is a good chance as always to make sure your rumble horn is working perfectly and there's no problems. On the back of the box here you can kind of see something funny as this image on the back looks much different from the toy, possibly an early prototype and why it took so long for us to finally see him on the shelves. Even on the bottom here he was always displayed like this, missing his riding saddle, maybe a different wings, uh, looks like different projectile. So there are some differences from the image and what we finally get but it looks like what we finally get is way finally cooler than what we finally could have got. Out of the package, Skull Crusher smashes, and this is one powerful Rumblehorn Dragon. So many things to talk about on this dragon. Let's start maybe with the color, a nice bold green color. This is probably your best traditional dragon color around, nice lizard green. Looking at his tail, he's got a powerful club mace on the end of this thing with little kind of spikies on it. And there's also a little bit of a gold shimmer to it, which is really impressive. Unfortunately, that isn't really reflective on the rest of his body, but it's still a really nice touch on his tail. He's got posable wings and a really nice uh, set of wings. We've got up maybe a 45 and then a flat. So three positions to put them in and they feel pretty solid. I like how they're built. Uh, we've got a riding saddle up top and it's a really nice kind with a back uh, seat rest for Stoic and or Eret. And uh, what would these be, foot rests I think or are those hand grabbers? I'm gonna have to watch the movie again on that but always like it when the riding saddle kind of sticks out a little bit, actually looks like a saddle. And then you can kind of see how it's wrapped around him and painted really well. Uh, so terrific on that part. On his head, just a fantastic looking dragon. Lots of really interesting scale patterns going on. And again, lots of these little puck marks on there, I like to call them, uh, for just an authentic scale. And a great looking smile on him. You can kind of see the projectile hole in there inside his mouth, which is kind of unfortunate. No closing of the mouth. You can see his really cool trademark uh, battle axe head going on, if you notice how there's like a little axe shape going on, and I think that's pretty cool too. Very nicely done. He has a really terrific dinosaur triceratops like head going on. Uh, I always kind of think of him as the battle cat of dragons. Battle cat? <laughs> Sounds like wimpy cat to me. <laughs> Can I help too? <laughs> As for action feature, it's kind of cool. This is probably one of the better working ones I've seen in a while. Uh, oh, it's a projectile. I haven't seen that before, but whatever. That's cool. Uh, it looks like, I don't know why, maybe Spin Master got their projectile team going right, because this time this works really well. You're going to fit it inside his head. Then you're going to pull uh, the tail in which grabs the head, I believe, by some sort of mechanism. And then when you pull that tail back, all sorts of things are gonna happen. <laughs> he fires that projectile and you can kind of see there's a little bit of ramming action with his head in the process. So pretty cool and powerful punch on that. And I would say that projectile flew about 10 feet. Articulation getting much better as these dragons advance in the toy line. We now have uh, four legs with a little bit of posability to them. Not much, but so much better than when the legs are just frozen. And check out that belly on this guy. It looks like a brick house. I mean, we've got a really strong uh, torso down there for punishment. So this guy's cool. He's pretty heavy too. He's got some uh, power to him. Unfortunately, we do not have a Stoic the Vast figure to ride up on top of Skull Crusher, but we do have Eret who did get a chance to ride Skull Crusher. Uh, there is a riding peg, but I'm kind of tired of trying those. They just never work, so I just kind of sit them on top and works pretty well. 
Unfortunately, I believe Skullcrusher is a much larger dragon and the scale of this guy is a little bit small. And I understand the toys have to fit in these boxes and, and contain a proportional amount of plastic to the selling point. So that's understandable, but it would be really cool to see a larger Skullcrusher in the future. With scaling in mind, here he is with a couple other of the dragon toys available. You can see they're all pretty much generally the same size, but great collection overall with these guys. So that is the fantastic new Skull Crusher figure found about the tail end of 2014. I highly recommend this dragon. It is one of the best in the line. Very cool looking overall. That's what I have to say about that. <sighs> Errit! It is finally go time! Never mind! Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Now rest, my mighty dragon. It has been a long review.